Hi, good afternoon. Today I'm going to show all of you how normally do I clean my camera gear. As you can see here, I have my Nikon Z6, which is the mirrorless camera here with an interchangeable lens. And I also bring in another lens just to show you how I normally clean them. And all the tools that you need is on this table, which is very straightforward. Normally I will use these uh, Jai's uh, lens cleaning wipes. They are like one time use, disposable. Uh, very nice and you can get it from Shopee and Lazada, easily available. If I remember correctly, they are in the pack of 50, you know. The price is also not so expensive. One pack, maybe about 20 over to 30 ringgit. So it's very uh, affordable. And I will need a microfiber cloth. Normally I'll get the 3M one because they are quite reliable. And couples of these uh, Q-tip or cotton bud. And one very important, the dust blower. In fact, this one, uh, the Jotos rocket blower has been with me more than 10 years. So far, it's still working fine very important piece of equipment when you come to cleaning your lens and camera okay so without further ado i'll just start normally what i'll do is i will take the grab the camera and i use a dust blower to blow off all the visible dust why you need to do that is because uh, maybe all this particle and dust they are stuck in the surface, on the lens, on the monitor and when you use the microfiber cloth run through it without using this uh, method to clean, clean off the particles you will scratch your lens you know so as you can see this basically uh, the camera now is basically quite dust free after a few good blow from the rocket blower so now all I need to do is grab a microfiber cloth just run through all the surface and take out all the visible dust so I won't touch this lens because the surface of the lens is a bit more sensitive so when I come to the lens I will use these lens cleaning wipes so I will take it out as you can see, this is very simple and straightforward. When you open it up, it is actually quite uh, moisture, wet, uh, with alcohol. So all you need to do is, I will start with the lens first. You can just wipe it off. As you can see, it, it evaporates it Im immediately, instantly. And this is very easy to clean off all the debris, all the even the stain, or the very also the stubborn particles you know so with a very clean white you can get rid of all the dust all the particles from the camera now it looks good very new okay and since I still have some uh, alcohol is still not evaporate yet so I'll quickly go to the next lens I'll open it up use the rocket blower to have a good blow both sides the front and the back element and then use this to just run through it You cannot use this uh, lens wipe for too many times. If not, it will start to create some the fiber kind of like uh, like a white hair thingy left over, you know. So I'm done with the lens cleaning, and for this lens, I also also usually use the microfiber cloth to just run through the surface to clean off all the 
stain all the oil and whatever possible uh, dust or whatever over it so after you clean it it will look very good spotless you know so I'm done with this um, lens so next thing I want to talk about is how about if the sensor is 30 so how do you know that the sensor is 30 when you shoot let's say I do give an example video in a very high aperture for, for this case I'll turn to A mode I shoot the aperture all the way to f16 if you notice now this camera is clean if it does the if you take a photo for example over here let's say I go to f9 in A mode all the way to f16 take another one then if i zoom in the picture i can see whether there's any dust receiver in the picture so in this case here there's no dust so if there's a dust what do you do you go to menu go to this setting then you can say clean image sensor then you say auto clean now then you start to clean the image sensor all of the mirrors camera they have these features to clean the image sensor so actually what happened is the sensor itself will be vibrate and you have a very high frequency trying to shake off all the dust you know but sometimes uh, due to the very I would say that stubborn dust or particles is actually stick there for a long time and you cannot get rid of it then what should you do then you need to open up lens and it will expose the sensor as you can see you can see the sensor so all you need to do is hold the camera like this and use the rocket blower to blow upward by not touching the sensor so a step like this can actually use the air pressure to push out all the dust after you did that carefully mount the lens back and it should get rid most of the dust from the sensor if you still manage to find some dust is uh, not removable all you need to have is a lens swap I will share with you in the next uh, video how you normally clean those uh, dust and particles from the camera sensor because that one need to be extremely carefully done with a right product if not once your sensor is scratched it will leave a mark there permanently and you cannot repair it un unless you repair the sensor which is very costly and I don't see a point of doing that you know so that's the step that normally I will do to clean the camera very easy and very straightforward and there's few tips that you have you must uh, take note number one always find the area with the bright light like this like I'm doing next to the window so you can see all the dust and all the particles clearly second thing is you need to make sure your environment is uh, not so dusty so if you can do it some people go to the extreme they do it in the bathroom because when the bathroom is wet you hardly have any dust if not you can just find a room without a lot of air movement you know without a lot of direct uh, like a fan or air, air change you know so you can actually do it there because there's less chance of dust is flying around so you can actually clean it the purpose I bring in this Q-tip is actually for the area that sometimes is very hard to reach like this area horseshoe you know and sometimes in the viewfinder you find it very difficult to reach all this dull you can actually use this Q-tip 
or cotton bud to just dust off all the dust. Yeah. So that's all for now. Uh, I'll share with you more about my camera and photography tips in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.